The usage of modern methods of contraception has been an important powerful force in my life, which allowed me to plan my career and personal development path, space birth interval between and after two deliveries, avoid unintended pregnancies, and unsafely perform abortions. We don't have to pretend virtual reality. What would happen if we lose access to family planning services and contraception? As even today, Majority of young girls, IDPs, special vulnerable women and girls don't have access to physically available, acceptable and financially affordable family planning. And modern methods of contraception is not part of any kind of differentiated state insurance packages. Access to family planning increases incentives to invest in education, participation in the labor market, social and economic life and lead to higher income and economic independence for women in the community. 64% of Georgian women and girls living in rural areas who want to avoid or delay pregnancy are not using modern contraceptives to plan and space their pregnancies. And the COVID-19 pandemic even increased this number, especially among citizens living the below poverty line. As achieving universal health care is central to ending extreme poverty, Universal healthcare should pay for services most needed by the poor, including family planning and contraception. I do believe centering family planning is an essential component of universal health care as a public health and foundation for women's health and well-being, critical determinant for women to make informed decisions regarding their bodily autonomy and lives.